All right, fellas, we are back with Double Spot out of the Gun Tight Flex in the Tennessee Titans playbook. This is part two of a Gun Tight Flex mini series that I am doing out of this playbook. If you missed chapter one, click on the annotation on the video right now to watch that play first. The reason is, is that play is gonna torch a lot of coverages in the game, but does struggle a little bit with cover two zone. Where Double Spot comes in is that it's very, very good against cover two zone. So this video is gonna be kind of short and sweet, um, but it's going to break down exactly what I want to break down on how to beat cover two for those of you who don't really know. So this play is pretty simple. What I like to do is to streak B and drag X. And this is going to create the ability to beat cover two to either side of the field. So what you're going to see here is against cover two, if you throw the ball a little bit early before the corner route basically breaks open, if you throw it too early, the flat route can play Superman and jump it. So what you need to do is make sure that the Y route really clears the zone and then throw the ball later on the sideline and use the possession catch to get two feet inbounds. This is one of the safest throws in the game against cover two, so I advise really getting the timing down. If you try to throw it early, I really mean it. You're going to throw a lot more picks uh, than you will throw touchdowns. Every once in a while, you know, you're going to have the ability to bust a big play on this, and uh, that's going to be a nice aspect to beating cover two because your opponent is going to try to rely on cover two to beat your base play. Now let's say that you know your opponent is smart. They get on an outside linebacker and they decide that they want to go play the, the corner route. So now all of a sudden you can't throw that corner route anymore. What you have in the drag is the ability to throw the drag underneath and you're going to be able to turn that into you know six, seven. Well as you can see here we're turning that into about 15 yards by throwing this drag. The reason is is because the two routes on the left side of the field are going to pull the zones way deeper than they need to go and you can just play check down game on them all game long, pick up six, seven yards of pop. Now that creates a problem whereas your opponent cannot defend both routes at the same time from cover two and it's going to do a pretty good job at uh, beating the cover two zones whereas our base play did not. So that is going to be how you basically beat cover two zone, but this play also does a good job against cover two man. The reason is, is because the same route combination is going to be able to beat cover two man to the corner routes. So we'll go ahead and call cover two man and set up the same exact setup. And you're going to notice that again, Y is going to beat his man to the corner more often than not. The uh, deep zone on the left cannot get there in time to play it. And then on the right side of the field, you're going to use B on the streak. Notice how B is on the line of scrimmage, so he's going to get to the deep zone first. He's going to pull him back, and it's going to free up your tight end on the corner as well. Now, the other thing is, is against two man under, you're going to have the drag. So you're going to be able to throw this drag, assuming it doesn't get bumped you can still pick up big yardage against man coverage. So this is a very, very good setup against cover two man as well as cover two zone. Now against cover threes, uh, if you know you're in a zone look one high briefly, you're going to be able to throw this route to the running back that I like to call it a table route. Um, a lot of people have different names for it, but you're going to see that it does a pretty good job of getting open as well um, only if you decide to take the outside corner or the the route on the left and put him on a streak so notice now you're basically gonna get the ability to throw either the corner or the running back on his you know his flat route um, against cover three very much the same fashion that you threw the play against cover two so this is going to be a really fantastic way of beating zone coverage. Now, if you really, really want to throw to the running back, notice a difference here. We're going to put the running back to the wide side of the field and watch how differently it plays. You can throw this route to the running back out of the backfield and pick up in, you know, the easiest four yards in the game if the running back is on the wide side of the field. So that's just a different dynamic to this play that a lot of players don't know is that if you streak off the flat zones, they will chase on the wide side of the field, and you can throw this route out in the perimeter and pick up you know five yards of pop with ease so um, that's just kind of uh, how the flats play in this game people know they're broken but they don't know why they're broken so 
every once in a while sprink in, sprinkle in this play to the wide side of the field and your opponent has a completely different dynamic of uh, what they need to do to defend this play, but you're still always going to have the ability to throw these corner routes against one high zone looks because they are just, you know, they're, they're really good. And of course, if you have uh, the ability to run with your quarterback, you always have that option as well. So uh, this video may seem a little bit boring, but it's all part of the, the giant scheme that we are building here in the Gun Tight Flex. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Inside High Low, which is another new play in Madden 16, and we'll break that down to the best of our ability to get this scheme really off the ground and running. So appreciate you guys watching out. Uh, thanks for stopping by, getting the lab, and good luck.